everybody welcome to the channel and today I'm going to continue my play of Storms Above the Reich and if you watch my other two missions mission number one actually went quite well um, but it ended up that I made some clerical errors and uh, on the rules so I lost a lot of that but it was a good round anyway and then um, mission number two was horrible to say the least um, that was a very bad bad mission completely so today I'm gonna to start mission number three and um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and roll for the map first so the map is our, our first thing to roll for here we go to roll and we have a nine a nine that's cool so when I look at 1943 early campaign uh, a 9 to 10 roll is map number 5. So uh, we're going to flip this map on over. Now I've not got the play on this map. So this is, this is kind of cool because this map here has... This is one complete unit right here. So uh, there's no rolling. Like when you roll for a loss, it all comes from this unit. So hopefully that will make it a little bit easier. So I'm very happy to be on map number five. So our next role is to see what type of mission we're going to have. And we rolled a four. So four is near target mission. So again, that is another good role. So map number five. And that's near all right, so, so far, the dice have been, uh, I think, helping us. We'll, we'll soon find out. So next die roll is for OP points, operating points. So let's see what we get here. And we have a 1. So a 1 to 3 on near target <laughs> is 2 operating points. Oh, my. Okay, so I want to use Griswold and Haas, but if you remember, Griswold was injured. He was wounded. So let's see if he gets out of there. Maybe I can use him. So I need to roll a 9 or 10 for him to get out of there. And I get a 2. So Griswold is not a chance that we can have. So we'll take um, Haas. Well, I think we'll take uh, Vlad. I think we'll take him because um, Doppler, or should I just take somebody that's totally new and not worry about these, get somebody else some experience. Unger was wounded. He has one experience point. Let's, let's take Unger. We'll take Unger again. So Unger doesn't have any special abilities. Haas does. So again, two points is all we get so this could be another short rough mission all right so we have our we have our aircraft so our next role is for escorts so we'll use the black die for that one so we roll and we get an eight so near target five to eight is l three k so let's bring this on it over here. Just so you can read the bottom here. So KR Kitty Hawks. If inbound or near target, time the S. So the escorts actually leave at three. And we have a light squad of Kitty Hawks. So over here in our turn track, on turn three, the escorts. So that's that's at least a decent roll there for that. So I'm happy about that roll. Okay, so, so far we have escorts. They're leaving at three. We need to get the Kitty Hawks out. So here are seven Kitty Hawks. Mix them on up. Two, three, four, and five. So these two go back. And these stay. So now, so on an escort display here, we're going to roll and see where they end up got a die roll of let's move to so you can see it a four 
So I have a die roll of four. So three to five, light is three forward, two below trailing. So these two are gonna go below trailing. These are gonna go forward. So our escorts are set up and they'll be coming in until turn three. Okay, so now we're to our situation map and we go to situation map five, outbound situation map near target map five here. Okay, so to determine the damage that these already come with, we're actually gonna go to the inbound page here and we're gonna roll for damage. So we'll use a red die for that. And we have a three. So on number three, we actually have damage that has occurred to this one here, which is on the wing. And because there's nothing there, there's no possibility of critical damage. So we're gonna flip this on over and it's got one wing damage there. So now we finish out from the back of uh, our actual page for over the target. And we go to anchor. anchor. So it says this formation is not anchored. So there's no anchor roll here at all. We don't even have to roll for that. And then we go to sun now. So now we're gonna roll for sun. And we get a 10. So nine to 10, there's no sun. So no out of the sun uh, can happen on this one. We don't have to worry about it. So now we're gonna roll to see what we get for tactical points. <laughs> we get it too. Of course we do. So we get one tactical point is all we get here. So our tactical point is one here. So the next thing we're gonna look at is flight limit. We're gonna roll for flight limit. And we get an eight. So an eight, seven to nine is seven turns on our flight. So we move our flight limit up to seven. So we have seven turns for flight limit. So that means we have four turns without escorts. So if our two fighters can survive this, we might have a chance to do something, maybe. Okay, so during the move, we're actually gonna use this page near target. And every time it comes to a blast and flak phase, we're gonna roll a die and see if something gets damaged here. But we also have a chance for our aircraft to get damaged too, because for example, if we roll a six, this plane would get hit. But then if we had uh, one of our aircrafts over in the nose, they're also gonna take a hit. So the flak can damage the bombers and the flak can damage our fighters both. So this should be interesting. And now we're set to move on to our first turn here. So our first turn involves moves, which we're gonna place our aircraft. So I'm gonna go ahead and place him at the high. Well, we gotta come in low on both. So low at the tail and low at the nose here. So they're both coming in on low. We don't have any returns. We're gonna roll for our escorts here now. So we we'll use the black die here. So we'll roll for the forward section first. And we get a three. So when we look at one, one to four is above trailing. So one guy goes up to above trailing. I'm gonna roll for below trailing. And we get a 10. Eight to 10 is also above trailing. So we have two fighters up here and above trailing. So they are definitely coming out on the next turn. Fortunately, we only have two turns for them guys to do damage to us. So hopefully we can survive that. Okay, so the next thing we have is cohesion here. And we just have one aircraft that has a damage there in that group. So we're gonna roll for cohesion. And we get a seven, so no cohesion. Uh, everybody's good there. And attacks, well we have no attacks to do, so we're gonna move on to Turn number two. So right here, we're gonna move on up to turn number two. Okay, so our turn number two, we're gonna go a low approach here and a low approach here. So our next thing is after return, we don't have any returns, escorts. 
We know somebody's coming in here, we just don't know where. All right, so we have the top one we're gonna roll for first, which is always the tough one. Let's see what we get. And we rolled a nine. A nine is the box with the most fighters. So I guess we will put him up here with Haas here. So that's the box with the most fighters. So they're gonna be having combat. Um, let's roll for the forward now. And there's a nine on the forward. So eight to nine that goes below trailing. And then for the below trailing, we're gonna roll. And we get a nine also, and that goes in above trailing. So this one's gonna switch places, go up here. And this one's coming down here. Okay. So first thing we gotta do is resolve combat here. We have two Kitty Hawks coming at us. All right, so the first thing we do is resolve combat here. And when we look, fighters higher than escort. Well, uh, nope, because they can't. That came from high, so we're not we're not higher than that. More fighters, no. So we're on the bottom of the P40 and Spitfires here. So let's see what our our damage is going to be. And we rolled a five. So two to five is D. And we look down there. That's dogfight. One escort. Marker dogfights. Now, the reason I told chose Haas was that he had quickened, so that means nothing for the dogfights. So, the dogfight box. So, what happens up here is that they remain in this dogfight box. Fighters may only enter this box as a result of aerial combat. Escort may enter normally. Fighters in this box must remain until aerial combat is resolved again. Convert a D result to B result. Aero combat for resolving in this box here. So these two guys are up there fighting it out. In the meantime, Unger down here says, well, you know, that's nice, but uh, let's see, we don't have any recovery. Blast and flax. So now this is where it's going to get fun. So again, we go to our situation map, which is a uh, near target. And we're going to roll to see which one we use and we have 10 so we use 10 as you can see nothing no no damage no flak to anybody so all the flak missed everything so we have some crappy shooters down there on the ground that's for sure okay so blast and flak is that cohesion so we're going to go ahead and roll for that so let's see what we get and we get a seven so we only have one so no damage done there so our next step here is attack. So we're going to do our approach. So Unger is going to come in. And let's see. He's going to come in and attack from here because this has a one on it. So that one less thing there. I want to come after this guy, but he has a two. So uh, let's hit this guy first. Select a fighter mode. Um, Unger has nothing, so... I don't want it to be evasive. We're just gonna go head on. So we're gonna go on determined mode. No collision check. We're gonna select a maneuver. So after he gets done, he's going to um, he's gonna go ahead and climb after he gets done shooting to end up in the high box across the way. No out of sun because we have no sun coming in here, so there's no um, out of sun. And there's no advantage because we lost all of our advantages here. So nothing to add on because we're missing a guy. We only have one that's just straight on shooting. Okay, so we are going to pick our nose attack, which is right here. And our nose attack. So we're coming in from low. Number one, determine. So we pass through and we take some damage. So that did not help us at all. So we're going to pass through one. And we're going to take a damage marker. And we have Fuselaz has five damage here. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be just a horrible round at this point. Okay. So no damage to the aircraft. Continuous fire is next. So here's our continuous fire card right there. And we're going to flip it on over. And we got one undetermined, so that's nothing confused. If green pilot, which he's not, um, 
continuous fire spend one TP. If there is no TP spent, the fighter is hit. So he is not a green pilot, so there is nothing hit there. So if you recall, all of our pilots start out, uh, we have four experts, but no green, so um, he's good. So he's gonna fly on up to the return box in the high area right there. So mission turn number two, I'm gonna move that on up here, right to there. We're gonna move, we have no moves. Return, we have a return here. So he can't do anything because he has to, hasn't gotten the recovery phase yet. So our next thing is escorts. All right, so we'll do the top box first here. Well, it's only gonna be around for three turns, but man, they're gonna kick our butt in three turns here. All right, we have a nine. So a six to nine is the one with the most fighters, which of course is our gentleman who's already damaged here. Gets a two, a one to four is above trailing. So that comes on up here. And then below trailing here, the roll for that is two. So forward station, so that moves back up to the forward station there. Okay, so we go on to our combat. Okay, so we can get rid of this here, but we do have to have that on there. Get rid of our climb. So fighter higher than uh, that, no, they both come from the high. And then more fighters than escort, no. So again, we come over to the P40s and Spitfire. And we roll a nine. Eight to nine is B. Break off, fighter and escort markers exit. Okay. So. The fighter is going to exit the game, which doesn't help us at all. He's going to exit, but we'll do that in a minute because we have to do his damage in the next step. And now we have to go to the other side of the board where two guys are doing outright battle here. So fighter higher than escort? No. Fighter, more fighters than, oh, you know, I never. By the way, in the last one, there were four. I never flipped it over, but there were four fighters. So it didn't matter because whatever it was, I knew he wasn't more than. So we have um, fighters higher than escort, no. More fighters than escort, no. So we go over to the P40 and Spitfire. And we're gonna roll on that. And we get a four. So two to five is D. D is dogfight, but it says here, convert D results to a B result for area combat resolve in this box. So then it becomes B, which is break off. Fighter and escort markers exit. So Haas is gonna exit and the P40 is gonna exit. All right, so we're back over here to Unger. He has a fuselage hit, which is a five. So we're gonna roll to see if we can get below that, because right now we're on our recovery phase. So it's got to be equal to or greater. And we get a seven, seven. So Unger is okay, our, our non-expert average pilot is okay. So he actually keeps the game going for us, at least for one more turn. So now we come back on over here and we do blast and flak. So we're going to roll for blast and flak here. And we get a three. So we look on here and three is damage to this bomber here. Nose approach gets damage, but we don't have anything in the nose this time. We have it in the tail. So none of our guys get damaged. So we're going to reach in here and throw that, and again, it's another wing, non-critical wing uh, draw, so that's, a very, that's very good for them. And that's gonna go on this guy right here. Him. And he also has one wing damage there. Okay, so our next step is cohesion. And um, we have two now, so we need a two or less, and we get a two. So what does that mean? Well, that just breaks it up so that we have a loose formation now. 
the entire element is loose and the entire element gets a minus one. So we have one fighter here that can do something. And the next step is attack, but we can't do any attacks because our fighter is still up in the box there. So we now move on to mission turn number three. And mission turn number three means that all the escorts exit. So I don't know if it's, do you play full, the full turn before the exit, but I'm going as they're leaving this turn. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. We have a move, there's no move. We have a return. We do have Unger returning right here. He comes on in. Then we have escort phase. There are no escorts. We have cover recovery. There's no recovery. Uh, blast and flag. So that's our next one here. So we're gonna roll for that. And we get a nine on blast and flag. So let's see, that's outbound near target. Let's see if you guys can see that. Okay, near target. So, oh my God. <laughs> so a nine is they absolutely missed every single bomber here, but every approach gets hit. <laughs> so our guy takes the hit. Sitting there minding his own business. And he gets, oh, a nine wing. Okay. So we have a nine wing average damage there, blast and black. Okay, so cohesion. So we have three here. So we're gonna roll for a cohesion, see what we get there. And we get a one. So the element is now kaput. It's a minus two. Not that that makes much difference at this point. Attack, there are no attacks. So we're gonna come on over here and let's see, you guys, you guys can still see that. Yeah, so we're just gonna move this on up here. Move it up to mission turn number four. Start on mission turn number four. Oops, yes. So we got a move, we don't have a move. A return, we don't have a return. Escorts, no escorts. Recovery, well, we got our man here with nine on his wing here. So we need a nine or 10, which is highly unlikely, but that's what we need to get this guy back in the game. And he gets a one. Oh man. Unger now is going to go over to wing damage here. That's what he has. Okay, so we have cohesion now. So we're going to roll for cohesion. We have four in the unit. So we have three. So, okay, so they, they would get, so they didn't make their cohesion. So that means now we have a bomber that is fallen. So we're going to put it on the highest one here, but we'll just go that guy because it's the only one. So at least we're going to get a point for a fallen bomber if nothing else. And that's due to the cohesion. And we don't have anything to attack with. So the next thing we do is move our mission turn up one more. So number five. And I believe we continue on, even though my guys are over there, we still continue on this bombing rate. So there's flat, there's a possibility of flak and cohesion loss. So that can add up. So no moves, no returns, no escorts, no recovery, blast and flak. So we're gonna roll for that. And again, we get a nine. So if you remember last time, the nine was nothing, nada, nine. So no hits on them, but hits on our guys, but there's no guys to hit. So we move on to cohesion. So we're gonna roll for cohesion. So now we have one, four, five. So five and below, and we get a four. So four means that there's another bomber that is getting dropped. So again, that's gonna come off this wing here. So we've, Accumulated two points without a fighter in the sky. Attack, zero, nothing to do there. Going to move our mission, so we're going to go pretty quick here. Move our mission, turn six, no moves, no returns, no escorts, no recovery. Blast and flak, so we're going to see if those guys can do something. So we get a three. So a three on this is damage to this plane right here, nose uh, damage, but we don't have anybody in the nose section. So that plane is going to get a 
marker. Let's see, but that's a fallen plane. So this doesn't get anything because it's already fallen. So it hit him, I guess, while he's on the way down, maybe. I don't know what you do on that. I'm just going to leave it as nothing. Um, and then we have no um, attacks here. So we're going to come on over here again. Move our mission turn to the flight limit here. We're going to go through everything. No moves, returns, escorts, recoveries, blast, and flak. So one last time for our ground guys to do something here. You know, I forgot to do cohesion last time. We did blast and flak. No, we did a cohesion, yeah. So we're on to cohesion here, or blast and flak. So blast and flak is 10. And again, I'm just going to show you this. 10 is nothing any place. That's a free ride. So our flak guys haven't really done much to help us. Our last one is cohesion. So we're going to do a cohesion. And it's a one. So they fail cohesion again. So we have another fallen bomber. And we'll just put on that guy right there. All right. And then no attacks. So that ends mission number three. And the fighter action was horrible. But the cohesion, these guys actually flew into each other. You know, that's, that's how bad these guys were. So uh, I think the only thing worse than this, these bomber pilots here are my ground flak guys. And, you know, our pilots did their best, but they, they got hit quite a bit. So we have to come on over here now. And we have to see what happens to Unger. Remember, he got some wing damage here. So Unger, we're going to see what happens to him. So we're going to roll. And Unger gets a one. That's not good. <laughs> so poor Unger is playing. You know, Griswold's plane caught fire. Uh, and he ended up wounded. Unger's plane exploded. So when he landed, the thing just blew up. I mean, just a fuel leak. Uh, the landing skidded a little bit because the tire wasn't uh, was underinflated. And the plane just blew up catch fire. So our emergency crew is running out there to see what they can do. And they're going to see if they can pull Unger out in time. And Unger gets a 10. He's safe. He actually bails out. <laughs> so Unger, the young man, gets an experience point. He bailed out of an explosion on the plane and was able to get out of there unharmed. Like, you know, he wasn't slow like Griswold was. He didn't get wounded. Uh, so he's okay. And he gets an experience point. Okay, so Unger, who in round one was wounded, round one, I should, I should probably put that there, was wounded, he got another experience point. So this guy's doing, this guy's pretty impressive. Pretty darn impressive here. And then we come on over here to our mission. So in our mission group here, let me again get that where you can see it here. There we go. All right, so in our mission group, um, we earned three fallen bombers. So we got three points on that one there and victory points and victory points. We get three more here. So now we have a total of four victory points so far and we have five EP points so far. And I guess I should write here so we know what we're doing. Okay, so although it wasn't an impressive mission, um, we did get uh, bombers that fell out of the sky due to their um, bad flying. So the U.S. Air Force really needs to train their bomber pilots a little bit better. Uh, our guys got taken out of the game. We have uh, Griswold there is in the wounded box. We'll roll for him on next mission to see if he comes out of there. Uh, we didn't get much in the way of flight attacks, but we did accomplish some points here. So it's not an overall loss. But uh, I know that probably wasn't that great to watch, but I appreciate you guys being here. Please do like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And hopefully I'll see you around for the next mission when I'm hoping to get more pilots, maybe some more tactical points and be able to do something else. Love to get this map back. Map number five. Love to have that back. But... Uh, I'm not sure that I'll get that lucky. Anyway, thanks for joining. Take care.